Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do graffiti style lettering. It's gonna be a very simple process and um, we're gonna do letters that are simple so people can actually read them, um, but they're still kind of cool and very uh, decorative. So uh, it's gonna be a colorful canvas and I uh, can't wait to show you guys what we have in store. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so at this point, I did not know what I wanted to do, but I wanted to do something wacky, a little bit of drip style, and uh, kind of just started off, you know, with the blue and just started putting paint on there and wanted to see what I could come up with. So after seeing uh, the blue on there, I figured I add a little bit of a complementary color, which is a, a yellow. And after stepping back a little bit, it almost looked like a little bit of a kind of reminded me of SpongeBob. So. I uh, kind of went with that little little theme a little bit and uh, just continue using similar colors and uh, this is what we came up with. You know sometimes the uh, art itself will tell you what it wants so like I said I started off with a random shape and uh, since I have a basic idea, basic shape already on there with the basic colors, now it's time to add a little bit of, um, you know, highlights and uh, shadows and try to make that really stand out. So I went ahead and added some purple on there and then uh, for the shadows of the water and then some uh, some neon pink on there for the, for the, uh, the highlights. So this is going to be a uh, girl's name. So uh, we went ahead and uh, sketch that out and we're going to get ready and you know pull a little bit of details from the letters And I know that this girl likes Billie Eilish and I remember seeing Billie Eilish with a green hair. Right now she doesn't have green hair but she did a while ago so I uh, went ahead and added that uh, green uh, for the name. So I thought it came out pretty good against the, uh, the purple and the yellow there. And of course we're going to layer all the green so I actually added a a little bit of um, fluorescent yellow on the back you can't really see it uh, but then I added the uh, lemon yellow and then after that I'm gonna add um, kind of like a foresty green to make that uh, really stand out I really didn't show this in this video but if you take a uh, fluorescent uh, light you can actually see some of that fluorescent color uh, shine through the letter so I thought that was kind of cool and I'm um, thinking about doing something similar like that uh, later on on a different name uh, you know, trying to make it all neon colors so I wonder if the actual camera will capture it and uh, will look kind of cool on camera so I gotta test that out and see if that works all right and now that I have everything already filled in I'm gonna uh, come back with black and start cutting those letters out with a black color Man, this uh, painting is uh, reminding me of an old show called Double Dare, uh, which included a lot of slime and it was fun to watch back in the day. So let me know if you guys are liking the color combination or, or let me know if you guys would do something different. All right, and we're pretty much done with this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final results. All right, and there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and the process of doing this graffiti style 
Uh, so it's fairly simple. All you gotta do is just continue practicing and uh, whatever you're comfortable doing uh, with your wrist as far as uh, doing lettering, that's kind of what you wanna stick with and uh, you wanna just continue doing it. Um, you know, you can always uh, create something basic and add additional uh, decor to it or styling to it. Um, that's always the easiest way. Uh, and you can always retrace your lettering and change them every single time. So this way you get a little bit of practice and uh, you come up with your own style. So for now, take it easy and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.